So if you have a vehicle and you think you have low fuel pressure, but then I go over the symptoms of low fuel pressure and some of the causes of low fuel pressure. And one thing to mention quite often is when people come into a shop and they have low fuel pressure, they'll often describe it as like they're running out of gas, like the vehicle just doesn't want to keep running or something like that. And all the symptoms related to that is going to be the same thing as low fuel pressure. Also, when you get low fuel pressure, usually the check engine light will come on or you'll get warning messages that come on. And if you use a scan tool to scan the computer for any error codes, usually the vehicle will give you a whole bunch of different codes. And so what are some symptoms of low fuel pressure? Well, first of all, you could have really long start times or the engine might not even start at all. And this is because not enough gas is getting up to the engine. Very likely there's going to be a rough idle. It's going to sound like it just doesn't want to keep running sometimes. Like you come up to a stop sign or you're just idling and it feels like it's going to die. you got to push on the gas pedal to keep it running. Things along these lines. Like I said, very likely the check engine light will come on. Depending on what vehicle you have, you might get other messages that might also come on. If you use a scan tool and scan for error codes, very likely you're going to get misfire codes. And these could be anything from P0300 all the way up to P0308, depending on what type of engine you have. But low fuel pressure quite commonly causes misfire codes. And the engine will also be running lean, which just means more air is going into the engine than gas. And, and quite often when this happens, you get an error code like a P0171, which is very common, or another type of lean code. And the engine's also going to have reduced power. So you go to step on the gas or something like this, and the vehicle's just not going to want to go like it used to. So things along these lines. But a very common symptom is going to be reduced engine power. And so what would be some possible causes of low fuel pressure? Well, the first thing is going to be the fuel pump. The fuel pump might be starting to fail. It might be starting to go bad. It might just need to be replaced. A very common problem with low fuel pressure is a clogged up fuel filter. And this is especially true if you have an inline fuel filter. Not all vehicles have these. On many vehicles now, the fuel filter is built into the fuel pump, which is quite often inside the gas tank. These can get clogged up too, especially if there's any contaminants inside the gas tank. But if you do have an inline fuel filter, it'd be a good idea to go replace that since it is a part of regular maintenance anyways. And these quite commonly get clogged up with age and they'll cause low fuel pressure. A bad fuel pressure regulator can also cause this issue. If it fails or becomes clogged up, then it can cause problems. Also, a bad fuel rail pressure sensor can cause issues. Both the regulator and the fuel pressure sensor will be up on the fuel rail, up on top of the engine. Keep in mind all the wiring going, all the components like the fuel pump, the fuel rail pressure sensor, things like this. They can cause components not to work. And that can cause issues, so it can also be in the wiring. Another thing that could cause issues is that the fuel tank got contaminated. The gas inside there got contaminated somehow. So either there's particles inside of it, or the gas is really old. Like if the vehicle's been sitting a long time, like six months or a year or something like that, then the fuel could have gone bad and be contaminated. And if the vehicle has been sitting for a long time, components inside of the gas tank can rust up sometimes, and then this can clog up fuel pumps and fuel filters and things like this, and that can cause low fuel pressure since the fuel can't push through. And it's also possible that there's a leak somewhere or one of the fuel lines got clogged up. So you could look underneath the vehicle, see if you see any dripping or any puddles or anything like this, just to see if there's any leaks. But also keep in mind that those fuel lines could get clogged going up to the top of the engine. And if they do, then that would cause issues. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give some of the symptoms of an engine when it's getting low fuel pressure and some of the things that can cause this. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.